Okay, guys, it seems like we have yet another controversial disqualification in the tennis world. Or do we? Let's talk about this. Now, first of all, I have to mention that I did not watch the match live. Therefore, I do not have a full spectrum of information of what happened. But I watched a couple of videos of the unfortunate disqualification. I read a couple of tweets of what happened. And here's the information that I got, basically. Um, first of all, I have to mention, this is really important. Rublev was up 4-2 in the third set. It's a Dubai semifinal matchup, Rublev versus Bublik. He was up 4-2 and also had a triple break point to basically win the match. It's a double break. It would have been a double break versus Bublik. It's pretty much over. He's in the finals. Now, he failed to materialize that. He got broken back and now it's 5-5. So, there must have been some frustration inside of Andre Rublev. Now, it's 5-5. Bublik is serving. It's 40-30 on his serve. It's a contested point and one of Bublik's shots early on in the point seemed to be kind of long-ish. Like, you cannot really tell because it's the far side of the court, but there was some crowd reaction, and you know how the crowd tends to react <gasps> when the ball is kind of close to the line, right? And uh, Rublev also kind of plays a weird shot. He was probably contemplating uh, to stop the point and just challenge it immediately. He kind of half gruntingly plays his uh, shot, but he did not stop the point, and there wasn't an automatic Hawkeye. Yet another argument for automatic Hawkeye. You cannot kill a line judge for making a mistake. And um, so what ended up happening is a couple of shots later, uh, Rublev misses one. And then he aggressively charges towards the line official. Now, this is not the worst thing that we have ever seen on a tennis court. And I guess the people who say that he was... Uh, unjustifiably disqualified compare this to I don't know Serena Williams threatening to kill a line judge because she said foot fault or there have been countless of worse examples of behavior when it comes to tennis players but uh, when you think about it he did aggressively charge towards the official and yes he's not going to beat him up yes he doesn't have a deadly weapon yes he's not going to injure him but then again, David Nalbandi in 2012, Queen's final, kicked that advertising board in front of the line judge's legs. I mean, he did not really injure him severely. The leg was kind of bleeding, but he got disqualified. You cannot really do that. So, I mean, some things can happen. And also, Rublev is a guy who's kind of weird with his emotional outbursts. Like, he's not a guy who just... Kind of like Djokovic just smashes a racket, right? He just grabs it and smashes. I'm frustrated. I'm losing. The judge screwed me. I'm injured. Blah, blah. Just smash it, right? And this is why I say just smash a racket. It's perfectly fine. It's your racket. You're not damaging the property of the tournament. You're not da damaging anybody. You're just smashing your own personal item. It's much better than going over to the line judge. And despite him probably making a mistake, just don't do that. Like, don't yell aggressively towards the line judge and again as i mentioned this is not the worst thing that we have ever seen on the tennis court but i guess what happened is another line judge understood or spoke russian told the official told the main judge told the tournament director whatever and rublev got disqualified now i'm not really familiar with the code of like what can you say what you cannot say how can you speak to official how can you not speak to official all I can say, which I said two minutes ago, that we have seen worse things. But I kind of don't disagree with the disqualification because I do not like sports in which players treat, uh, treat the official like shit. Like, for example, in soccer, you see a foul and you see five guys running to the official. No, 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 it's ball, it's ball. And it's just like, come on, man. We need stuff like rugby, uh, which has zero tolerance towards arguing with the official like you can tell what you feel but it's it's a normal argument it's a disciplined argument you're not up in his face and like yelling and all that and threatening him and all that so i'm i'm in favor of that we have seen countless of players doing weird shits yelling at the official dropping f-bombs and so on and so forth so i'm not against the disqualification it is perhaps unexpected because of the previous examples of this but again, I think it's, it's in my opinion, it's perfectly fine. Now, I, I want to give a shout out to 
Alexander Bublik, who said that, well, Bublik is actually was really confused and it was the funniest thing ever. Like, he's just standing there like, you know, Bora 2.0 and like, what the hell happened? And Bublik was like, we can continue. Like, it, it's perfectly fine. And th that's a great thing to do because some players, um, uh, some players would just be like, nah, you know, it's okay. What can I do? Blah, blah, blah. And Bublik said like, okay, we can continue. I'm perfectly fine. Um, but, uh, you know, Rublev, it was the final decision. Rublev got disqualified. And there are some people again on Twitter telling that we need a VAR, we need to see what Rublev said, but it's not about what he said, it's about like the way he kind of aggressively walked, ran almost towards the line judge and started yelling at him, it doesn't really matter that he said, I like butterflies and rainbows, like you cannot really say that, like, you know, he did it in a sort of aggressive, scary manner, and of course, again, as I mentioned, he's not going to kill the line judge, but... You know, we are professional athletes. And again, it's much, much, much worse, in my opinion, to do this than to smash a racket. You're smashing a racket, whatever, you smash a racket, it's your thing. You, you're not throwing everybody. You're not damaging anybody besides yourself and your personal item. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it when it comes to my opinion. I actually did a poll. I think roughly 60% of you said that you agreed with the disqualification. The link to the poll will be down in the description box. So thank you very much for watching. Let me know in the comment section what you think. And uh, yeah, that's it.